These niggas lying through their teeth, but I keep it 100 every time that I speak. These niggas lying through their teeth, but I keep it 100 every time that I speak. Let's go. Boy, I'm in the zone right now. Boy, I'm in the zone right now. Same niggas that switched up on me, them the same niggas blowing up my phone right now. But I ain't got time right now. Cause a nigga on the grind right now. With OGs blowing la la la. Why you probably still living at your mama's house? Look. Get your money up before you talk slick. Cause I've been getting to this green on some golf shit. Flow so sick, I could probably call it. Tutty, tutty, gang, gang, gang. Welcome to the channel and welcome to another Madden 20 tip video. Today I'm gonna show you how to blitz more effectively in Madden 20. Now, it's important that you always use your coach adjustments. Three wide receivers or less. You want to use 3-4-I or 3-4-even. Any playbook with them. I am in the Green Bay Packers. I like to have cover two as an audible and then cover four as my main blitz. And then you will make your adjustments as your opponent does his adjustments. So right D-pad to the right, right stick down will blitz all. You want to always make sure you can't get beat over the top. So if you push YY or uh, triangle, triangle, and then push your cornerback, either B or X, or depending on what the cornerback is, and you put him in the outside third, that will help it so he don't get beat with any kind of streak. So as long as you have that down to a T in practice mode, everything is all set up now they come into a compressed formation I am in the cover two and you can see I changed both of my cornerbacks on the outside Y Y or triangle triangle and then you input what do you want to put them in An outside third outside quarter and then play sticks I want my opponent to always take one or two yard dump offs and that is exactly what you should want because then you can make adjustments once you got your opponent number one blocking more people and number two taking the quick read that's when your enforcers can come up and make big hits and that's when you can make adjustments behind it but until he can't get rid of the ball like you see right now he is not making the correct read he's standing there in the pocket eyeing down somebody and he is not making the correct read so we are in game number two this guy has Sanu he has Trey Edmonds two golden tickets so it's a pretty even matchup but as you can see we're going to do the same thing. Now, this does not take skill. This is all about luck. Once I see that highlighted Randy Moss, I'm blitzing the cornerback and I'm coming around for the user rush. If he tries to scramble out of the pocket from one side to the other, either that blitzing cornerback is going to get him or I'm coming to knock his head off. I'm sending everybody, his mama, the cheerleaders, the spectators, everybody. So you can see right here, he is not getting rid of the ball fast enough just like I showed y'all earlier in the video drop a like on the video 3-4 I 3-4 even same results just quick adjustments I got a single wide receiver on that right side I man him up and all I do is lurk under the middle and like I said as long as you don't compress them don't pinch the linebackers bring them down in the box because then they can chop block you just blitz all linebackers go to auto base align in your coach adjustments and then you will be able to get somebody free every single time you don't have to worry about the chop block and rolling out they will have to throw in the pocket and that is what people hate let's get it 